Five boys disappeared and were later found dead. This all happening more than 40 years ago. In our ongoing story of their lives, we focus tonight on two of the boys whose lives were cut tragically short. For every crime, there's a story, and the truth matters. Here's ABC4's senior crime and punishment correspondent Marcos Ortiz with tonight's Justice Files. Very little is known about the personal lives of two of the victims, Kim Peterson and Graham Cunningham. Now, they didn't know each other, but they had one thing in common. Their killer lived nearby. Knew that he frequent, frequented the skating rink there, especially, and played a little bit of pool. The Ritz Classic Bowling Alley was a refuge for Kim Peterson. That according to a former detective who investigated his disappearance. The detective, who wants to remain anonymous, says Peterson had a rough home life. You know, in talking to his stepdad, I got the impression that Kim didn't like to be home very much. In 1980, Peterson disappeared, prompting South Salt Lake police to investigate. They learned Kim came home that day with plans to sell his roller skates to a man at the skating rink. His parents wanted to meet the buyer. Police say Kim headed back to the bowling alley, but never returned. The former detective says they never learned who that man was, so they questioned the stepdad again. We got the notion that uh, Kim was a threat to his marriage to Kim's mother. And, uh, of course, that raised another red flag. He says they found the stepdad's notebook, which implicated him even further, but... We just didn't have any evidence to bring him in. Kim Peterson was never seen again, and his case remained unsolved until 1983. That's when Graham Cunningham also disappeared. In July of 1983, Graham Cunningham who was, I believe, 13 years old at the time, disappeared. At the time, Cunningham was headed to Disneyland with a neighbor named Roger Downs and his son. And then who disappeared a couple of days before, told us who took a phone call from somebody and then said, I'll be right back. I'm, you know, going out of the corner or something. And then never, never comes home. Three days after his disappearance, the first public news accounts alerted the public with police saying Cunningham should not be treated as a runaway. Cunningham's neighbor friend, Roger Downs, and his son, left for California without Cunningham. Downs claimed they never saw him, and upon returning, they joined the local search. He came to my house and said, like, we are to make my life easier by try trying to help find Graham. A month earlier, Troy Ward also disappeared and had yet to be found. There was some thought the two disappearances were connected. The sheriff told reporters, we have nothing to show that this is the case, but we have nothing to discount it either. But then police bring in Cunningham's neighbor, Roger Downs, for questioning and find their connection. Well, I'm glad you caught me because I couldn't stop. I would go do it again if I had the chance. And now the focus is on Cunningham's neighbor. Tomorrow night in our final episode of The Five Boys, The Devil in Salt Lake City. For the Justice Files, Marcus Ortiz, ABC4 News.